for now, what I'm hearing is that they are putting on your credential assembly services report, something called score validity report, which is indicating that something unique happened in this situation. Obviously the flex results being lost and you can also write an addendum with your law school application noting exactly what happened and every law school in the country will be aware of and familiar with what happened for the particular July 2020 LSAT flex administration. So you can make it clear to them, you will not be perceived as being at fault in any way for this. So if I understand correctly, you haven't been able to speak with them on the phone at all. Oh, wow. Okay. So what I would suggest doing is call them first thing in the morning. Their phone lines open at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And if you can call them then when they open, hopefully you can get in before suddenly they get that influx of calls as they do every day, especially in, in 2020 with all the flex craziness and this time in particular. So call them first thing, get somebody on the phone. They should offer you, among other things, a waiver to, for a free LSAT retake through April 2021. So if you want August, you want October, you want November, you can apply it towards that. If you were feeling good about July, all you've got to do is stay fresh on the exam for another month and work on any weak areas you have. I mean, you were going for August anyway, so maybe you anticipated a desire to take it again, but keep at it with the exams, the review, working on weak areas, and then same if you want to do October or November instead as well. And by the way, you know, it's not a bad thing to retake it. It's totally normal in general. And the good news is that law schools only take the highest scores. So you can only benefit. There's not really a whole lot to lose there. Law school admissions will understand. They're not going to penalize you in any way. They'll just say, okay, that happened. They'll, they'll feel bad for you. And then they'll evaluate your scores and look at your highest like they would have otherwise. So I, I would consider it like a, like a non-issue, like it didn't happen, except for the fact that, of course, it did. So make a brief note as an addendum, noting that could just be 100 words or less. They're already familiar with the background on it, so just remind them and make it clear that this happened. By the way, I have plenty of resources I'll send you on retaking. I've got a YouTube video of a class recording I did in the past with general retake advice, so I'll send that over. If you need anything moving forward, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.